Today, we are making some sauerkraut from our homegrown cabbage. Here, we have two heads of regular cabbage and two heads of Chinese cabbage for a total of four pounds. First, the cabbage is sliced thinly by hand, or you could use a food processor. For each two pounds of cabbage, you need to sprinkle one tablespoon of pickling salt and massage the cabbage to work it in. After about five minutes of this, the cabbage becomes wilted and juicy. You could use a wooden block or even the bottom of a heavy jar to press and soften the cabbage. Then, press the cabbage into a glass jar or crock in layers, pressing each layer down with your fist or a pestle. As you push the cabbage down, the brine will rise up in the jar. Keep adding and packing until the jar is filled to two or three inches from the top. Save a cabbage leaf to cut to the size of the jar and use this leaf to cover the cabbage in order to keep it submerged under the brine. You can also add a weight on top of the leaf to hold it in place. Cover the jar and leave it at room temperature. After a day or two, fermentation will start and you will see bubbles forming in the jar. As the gas builds up, you will have to open the jar to release the pressure at least once a day. Press the cabbage down in order to release the trapped bubbles and keep it all submerged. Bubbling will subside in two to four weeks. The cabbage should no longer taste raw or have any sweetness. It will start to look translucent and the saltiness will be diminished. At this point, you can move your sauerkraut to the fridge. Time to pull out the hot dogs. If you like this video, please give us a thumbs up. If you want to see more, please subscribe and share it with your friends. Until next time, this has been Homestead Homebodies. Thanks for watching.